Life's such a beautiful thing, don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. Here we go, any Laos, any Thai, any Cambodians in the house today. Happy New Year's to you guys. Yes, I know I'm a little late, but I know for a fact that you guys are still partying. I know for a fact. Big shout out to you guys. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome New Year, safe and fun. Uh, may this New Year bring you more health, wealth, luck, everything guys. Let's get into this guys. Let me show you how easy it is to make three cuisine in one show. Well, one dish in each country. All right, we cool with that? Don't blink. Start off like this, Laos sticky rice. So I got some rice here or glutinous rice here. Been soaking in for a day here, which I'm just gonna take. I throw into my stringer. Yes, this is not your traditional way of cooking Lao sticky rice. I know you guys have that bamboo. I think it's a bamboo net. I've seen it, guys, but I didn't know how to use it, so I'm gonna do it the old way, or the way my mom taught me, all right? So, in this basket. I should have put a banana leaf down there because it's just gonna stick to this little thing here, but it's okay. It's okay. Scoop that beautifulness over. Once you got your glutinous rice in, all we're gonna do, take a lid, cover this, and we're gonna cook this or steam this for about an hour to an hour and a half, guys. All right, big shout out to Cambodia. This is your guys's Hu Tiu, or Hu Tiu, Hu Tiu. I think Vietnamese people stole this from you guys and made it their own, their twist on it, and it's called uh, Hu Tiu, Hu Tiu, Hu Tiu. You guys call it Hu Tiu. You know what, I'm just gonna make it. So, I've got around four pounds of pork neck bone here. Toss it into our water, guys. All we're gonna do, cook it. Ow, not cook it. Um, I'm scared, guys. <laughs> I'm scared. I like to splash on my hand. What are we doing? We're boiling this. We're pre-boiling this, guys. Because we want to clean out all that impurities, all right? All right, on this side here, guys, we're gonna fry up, not fry up, saute, not saute up, toast up one cinnamon, four star anise, two, three tablespoons of coriander seeds. All right, once you got them nice and toasted, I'm gonna take my onion, my ginger here, I'm just gonna toast it right onto this black top here. I tried it once, guys. And it came out okay. Like it just, it gave it a little stain on this countertop, but it's still good, guys. Like I let it cool down and I just wiped it off. Very simple, easy clean. I just want to say, just because I don't want to ruin your guys' stove top, try it on your own risk, okay? Don't copy me. I say it's all good. If you guys, if it doesn't come out all good with you guys, I apologize. I warned you guys. <laughs> we cool with that? All right. Okay. Let's char them up nicely. All right, once you got them nice and charred, I'm just gonna throw it over to my pan here. Turn this baby off. Take this baby, throw it into five quarts of water, like so. So I got one mini cube daikon, maybe a third cup of dry shrimpies into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. 20 minutes in, impurity is nice and cleaned out. Ow, ow! Pour more here. Now we're gonna do guys, very simple. Rinse them. Rinse them. Just because they're pork neck bone, they have this weird thing at the bottom. Here, I'll show you. Right, right here, they have some gunk here, which you're gonna take a chopstick to it and clean it out like so. We don't want that in our broth, you know what I'm saying? Nice and clean, off the back. Like so, okay? Nice and clean. Possible. So bone's nice and clean, so to five quarts of water, we're just gonna dump it in. Swim to the pool, I don't care if they can swim. They just have to get it. Right guys? <laughs> don't try this on your kids, all right? Don't try the technique I just said on your kids, all right? You cool with that, parents? <laughs> Watch them, please. <laughs> right, to season, one tablespoon of salt. And we gotta bust up that goodness right here. The sauce. So, to five quarts in the beginning, I'm gonna do 10 tablespoons of fish sauce. Why? Because I like fish sauce, all right? So we're gonna taste and adjust at the end for our liking. So 10 in the beginning, few more in the end for our liking. We good? How many is that? Five? Six? Seven? Eight, nine, ten. God, I love this sauce. I love this sauce, guys. It might be stinky in the beginning, but guys, the taste and the flavor, 
it's out of this world. I throw it on everything if I have to. Straight up. I sometimes just throw it in things. And I don't tell you guys because some of you guys just freak out. Like the Italians, you know, when I throw it in tomato sauce. Sometimes I just leave it out. Leave it out. <laughs> Was that right? I just leave it out. Just I, I just don't want the backlash. <laughs> Alright, here it is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Also, one tablespoon of brown sugar. Oh, 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 that's a big one. Oh, you see that? There it is, one tablespoon of that goodness in. Why? Just to balance off the, the sauce there, okay. Plug it in, like so. Take this bad boy. And we're gonna stew this for about four hours. She brought, there, four hours, boom, bam. All right, next, we're just gonna boil up some pork shoulder. So, boiling water, tablespoon of salt there. One hunk of pork shoulder here. We're just gonna peel away. Drop them into the pool, and I'm here for the swim. Just gonna get it. Cooking time for this? Two hours, boiling time, just because of the size. Right, next, papaya salad. So, Thai, Laos, Cambodia is my twist, my take on your guys' papaya salad. So I have some fish sauce here, or sweet fish sauce. So how I did make this sweet fish sauce? I did six cups of water, one cup of fish sauce. Um, what else did I do? Half a cup of sugar. One whole lime, one whole lemon, two tablespoons of vinegar, cook that up, boom bam, throw some Thai chili in there, sweet fish sauce complete. So I'm just gonna throw an added touch of Hot chili peppers in. Do this too, I'm gonna to add in a tablespoon of garlic. And one more lime, because I want it tangy. Next, I'm gonna throw this to the side. I'm gonna peel my unripe papaya or green papaya here, like so. Once you got that peel, I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm not even sure what it's called. A teeth, a teeth, teeth peeler? I don't know, guys. I'm just gonna peel it. I should move this fish sauce here. Not thinking. Okay. Just shred it right away, guys. Shred it into our beautiful fish sauce. You gotta love fish sauce, guys. If you don't love fish sauce, we can't be friends anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. We can't be friends anymore. Or just try fish sauce, guys. Just try a bit of it. Tell me what you think. <laughs> Not on its own, with some Vietnamese food, guys. It pairs very well, all right? All right, once you got it nice and shredded, I got some cherry tomatoes too, which I'm just gonna, yeah, let's throw the whole thing in, why not? Take one of this, or masher, and mash it in, guys. Just keep hitting it. Keep hitting it until it becomes like this. Once you got it looking like this, we're gonna taste it a bit. Oh my, that is beautiful. You know what it feel like? Throwing Korea in. My twist, my take on it, all right? I'm gonna throw Korea in. So, I'm gonna take some kimchi. Don't be upset, all right? It's just Korea, guys. <laughs> I throw some Korea into this mix. So three countries in one mix. Little kimchi. I'm gonna do this. Slice it up a bit. Some may be cringing right now, but guys, trust. I know this is gonna be good. Who doesn't like kimchi? Right? Just toss a bit in this beautiful pie salad here. All right, beat it up. And there it is, guys. Nice, beautiful papaya salad complete. All we're gonna do, taste this. Mmm, it's perfect. If it needs more fish sauce, add more fish sauce. If it needs more garlic, add more garlic. If it needs more spice, add more spice, guys. Taste and adjust for your liking. All right, All right our grilled stew, our huge stew topping. So we got quail eggs, we got green onions, cilantro, lime, onions, we got our pork sliced up, we got some lobster or fake lobster balls. We got two pounds of ground pork here, which is cooking up right now. Half a tablespoon of salt going in to this. Tablespoon of garlic. And I'm gonna spice it up a bit with a teaspoon of chili flakes. Saute this up. All right, last few things that needs to be into the oven. We got that Laos right here. Laos spicy sausage, made in Canada. Guys, I had this once and it was very spicy. I ain't gonna lie guys, Laos food is very spicy. Try it. <laughs> More spicier than Vietnamese food, that's for sure. Okay, into the oven at 420 for about 15 minutes, like so. 
Boom bam. Okay, next, pad thai. So, oil, like so. Let the oil heat up, like so. Once it's heat up, we got five cracked eggs into the pool. Let that fry up. All right, who's trigger right now? Since I'm not bursting that bubble there, huh? It's gonna let it fry up, guys. Anybody triggered by this? <laughs> I am. I'm actually very triggered by this. I ain't gonna lie, guys. It's like, why don't you just burst the bubble already, Quan? It's not feeling it right now. That's all. Almost. Flip it over. There you go. Nice greasy fried egg. Complete. I'm gonna take this, fold it over here. We got some shrimp, some lobster. Fry this up. I'm just gonna add half a teaspoon of salt here. And I want some of this to go. Right here, chili powder or chili flakes, just a tad. Saute this in. All right, shrimps complete. Just gonna toss them to the side too. Let's not drop any. Next, ah, uh, pad thai. So, pad thai noodles into this pan here. Come on, there you are. Everybody into the pool, like so. We got some tofu here. We got some shrimp over here. Guys, I'm sorry, I know it's a little dizzy. Just work with me, all right? Some shrimp, chop up some egg. Now I'll put this at the end. Get some of this juice here, like so. It's beautiful. I got some vegetable stock here, just a tad in. I got some fish sauce that I made earlier, guys, so if you guys want the recipe, I told you guys, remember, remember? <laughs> Two tablespoons of this, or a little more. Lastly, some tamarind. Only two tablespoons of this. Okay, mix this in. Mix this in very well. Once you got your noodles nice and wilted, handful of bean sprouts here. Toss it in. And then, our beautiful egg. Just half of this portion. So next, plate, like so. Not your best looking one, but I bet it's tasty, guys. And to make this more presentable, some shrimpies, cilantro, and there's some ground pork on it too. Mmm, and some peanuts. There's nice, simple, easy hot pie. My twist, my take on it. All right. All right. Next, Lao sticky rice and the sausage. Super spicy sausage, actually. Very spicy that sausage, actually. <laughs> there you go. Ah, ah. Like so. You know what? Kind of looks weird. Next, take that beautiful papaya salad here. Like so. Next, take your bouquet of flour <laughs> or salad. Throw to the side. Got some peanuts here. I'm just gonna throw on top of this. Like so. Just a pad. And here's some fried shallots too. Ooh. There it is. <laughs> How beautiful that is. Alright, like so. We're just gonna place it here. Like so. We're gonna take our pad thai. Pull up this wrapper. You know I'm gonna leave it on guys, because I wanna keep it moist and hot to the end, alright? Alright, what's good deal? Oh man, all we're doing guys, straining this. Straining all the bits and pieces out. We're not gonna set up the noodles yet because 
I don't want my noodles overcooked. So I'm just gonna plate the broth for now. So I'll scoop it all out. All right, let's all pretend, guys. Can we all pretend for a second? Just pretend I have some foot noodles in here, okay? Isn't that a beautiful sight? Remember, guys, pretend I have noodles there, okay? Just pretend. Are you pretending? <laughs> Don't be like Juan, there's no noodles in there. I better not see that comment. Yes, there is noodles in there, all right? <laughs> We're pretending right now, okay? Hey, 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 I better not see that comment. There is noodles in this. Okay. We got our fake lobster balls. We got our pork on this side. I just hope it floats, guys. Hopefully it floats. I'm gonna take out some broth. Some quail egg. Some beef or not the beef. Pork. You know what? I shouldn't have done it. It's okay. Still all good. Okay. Alright. We're just pretending there's noodles in there, okay? Alright guys. Good deal. Now we'll bring it over here. There it is. I just want to say happy Cambodian. Happy Thai. Happy Laos New Year's, guys. Hopefully you guys are having a good time, drinking a lot of Hennessy, enjoying the good times with your family and friends. Just don't drink too much Hennessy, all right? <laughs> Come through, guys, if you guys are hungry. All right, let's do this. Happy Cambodian New Year's, happy Thai New Year's, and happy Laos New Year's, guys. I know I'm a day late, but I know you guys are still partying. I know for a fact you guys are still partying. <laughs> All right, the pad thai kind of dried up a bit because I was plating everything, guys, but it's okay. You guys seen it, it was moist, All right? You guys seen it. It was moist, it was juicy, it was good. Now it's dry, but I bet the flavor's still there, guys. Good time, but this, pad thai. My twist, my take on it. Yeah, let's get it, nice. Super pumped for this. Oh, no, it's dry. Mm-hmm. Just because this is pretty much butt noodles already, I'm gonna dip in the good deal too. So I'm gonna moisten pad thai up, guys. Sip of this, the broth. Good thai. Let's get it. Nice. Super pop for this. That's heavenly. That is so heavenly, guys. Holy. Wow. Here. Nice. Good thai. Let's get it. Nice. Super pop for this. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think Cambodians eat their um do do like this too guys. Like they have noodles on the side. Oh, I seen the um, what show was that? Fun bros, ah, uh, fun bros. When they went out to eat Cambodian food. Big shout out to Fung Bros. When they ate Cambodian food, this guy took them to this restaurant where the noodles were um, dry, like this, and they had the broth on the side, which is just perfect, guys. It was definitely a good thing I didn't throw the noodles in. Mmm. It would have been too much noodles. Mm. Look at that connection. Cambodia. Thai. I'll go after Laos later. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, guys. I'll tell you a story after this. Well, not really a story. My celebrity moment. Not my celebrity moment. You know what? I'll just tell you later. Mmm. Mmm. Bit of that quality. Mmm. 
Sausage. Not sure if I cooked it up well. <laughs> I'll break this one. Kind of feels soft on that one. This one feels soft. All right, nice and microwave, just to make sure, guys. All right, we're cool with that. We're cool with that. Ay, 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 ay. Everything's everywhere. So clean hand. I think it's clean. I think I just licked it. It's okay. It's okay. Guys, okay. Some sticky rice. Some papaya salad and a piece of lettuce. Why not, right? Keep it healthy. Okay. So this is how we're gonna do it. I had this once, guys, and I fell in love. So sticky rice, like so. I don't know where to put it. Right here. I'll put it right here. So sticky rice, a little papaya salad, like so. On top of the sticky rice. I'm not sure if this is the right way to eat it, but having it all in one bite, it's amazing, guys. <laughs> okay, quick time. Buy this. Quick time. Laos sticky rice, uh, papaya salad, and the Laos sausage. Quick time. Let's get it. Nice. Prepare for flavor. Super pumped for this. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm so scared. Feels like I didn't cook this. This is so soft in the middle. Yeah, it's cooked. The flavors on it, guys, unbelievable. The spice on it, guys, unbelievable. <laughs> it has like a very spicy inside. Um, very lemongrassy. Mm. And just packed with flavors, guys. The most soft, no, no. The most spiciest sausage I ever put in my mouth, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it is spicy, guys. Like spicy, spicy. I'm gonna roll this up into this lettuce here. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Second time eating Laos food, I apologize, guys. Mm. Got it, nice. Super pumped for this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Incredible. Mm. So much things going on in my mouth right now. Mm. Just give me a second, right guys? It's so spicy. <laughs> but it's so good. Mm. 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 I met my first Lao friend.
Hopefully it's done. I can't really say that she's my friend. Because I met her at a party. I don't know, she was just saying something. She was like, my brother loves your show. I was like, oh, cool, thank you. Very cool. I don't know where it came from, but she's like, I'm Laos. Loud people are very rare here in Edmonton or in Canada. It's not a big community. But I freaked out. <laughs> Haven't met a Laos person ever in my life. If you guys don't know where Laos is, Laos just lays right, I think right beside Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand. <laughs> It's just right there in the middle. I don't gonna lie to these. These sausages are really, really good. But they're so spicy. <laughs> I know my butt's gonna burn after this for sure. For sure. Like you wanna stop eating? Because you don't want your butt to burn? But it's so good. Mm. All right, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you have. And also, don't forget to pick up one of your I don't trust you shirts or pop one. Like, share it. Peace out.